NASA has been actively involved in researching and monitoring near-Earth objects and EOs, including asteroids and comets, through various programs and missions. One of the key initiatives in this area is the Planetary Defense Coordination Office PDCO, which is responsible for coordinating efforts to detect, track, and characterize potentially hazardous objects. Welcome to my channel. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So, let's start. NASA's efforts in asteroid detection and defense primarily focus on three main objectives. Detection. NASA operates a network of telescopes and observatories worldwide, including the pan SDRRS and the Catalina Sky Survey, dedicated to continuously scanning the night sky for asteroids and comets. These sophisticated instruments utilize advanced technology to detect, track, and characterize celestial objects, playing a crucial role in identifying any potential threats to Earth. By continuously monitoring the sky, these observatories provide valuable data that enable scientists to determine the orbits, sizes, and trajectories of near-Earth objects, helping to assess their potential impact hazards. This ongoing surveillance is essential for early detection and warning of any objects that may pose a risk to our planet, ultimately contributing to efforts to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. Characterization Once a potentially hazardous object is detected, NASA conducts follow-up observations to determine its size, shape, composition, and trajectory. This information is essential for assessing the potential impact threat and planning appropriate mitigation strategies. Mitigation In addition to detection and characterization, NASA is also researching various mitigation techniques that could be employed to deflect or redirect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. These techniques include kinetic impactors, gravity tractors, and solar sails, among others. While NASA is actively engaged in these efforts, protecting Earth from asteroid impacts requires international collaboration and coordination. Organizations such as the International Asteroid Warning Network IADON, and the Space Mission Planning Advisory Group SMPAG, work closely with NASA and other space agencies to enhance global preparedness for potential asteroid threats. Overall, NASA's Asteroid Detection and Defense Mission play a critical role in safeguarding our planet from the impact hazards posed by near-Earth objects. Continued research, observation, and international cooperation are essential for effectively addressing this potential threat. After 10 months flying in space, NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test DRT, the world's first planetary defense technology demonstration, successfully impacted its asteroid target on Monday, the agency's first attempt to move an asteroid in space. Mission Control at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory APL, in Laurel, Maryland, announced the successful impact at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. As a part of NASA's overall planetary defense strategy, DRT's impact with the asteroid Dimorphos demonstrates a viable mitigation technique for protecting the planet from an Earth-bound asteroid or comet, if one were discovered. At its core, DART represents an unprecedented success for planetary defense, but it is also a mission of unity with a real benefit for all humanity," said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. As NASA studies the cosmos in our home planet, we're also working to protect that home, and this international collaboration turns science fiction into science fact, demonstrating one way to protect Earth. DART targeted the asteroid moonlet Dimorphos, a small body just 530 feet, 160 meters in diameter. It orbits a larger 2,560-foot, 780-meter asteroid called Didymos. Neither asteroid poses a threat to Earth. The mission's one-way trip confirmed NASA can successfully navigate a spacecraft to intentionally collide with an asteroid to deflect it, a technique known as kinetic impact. The investigation team will now observe Dimorphos using ground-based telescopes to confirm that DART's impact altered the asteroid's orbit around Didymos. Researchers expect the impact to shorten Dimorphos' orbit by about 1% or roughly 10 minutes. Precisely measuring how much the asteroid was deflected is one of the primary purposes of the full-scale test. Planetary defense is a globally unifying effort that affects everyone living on Earth, said Thomas Serbican, Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate at NASA headquarters in Washington. Now we know we can aim a spacecraft with the precision needed to impact even a small body in space. Just a small change in its speed is all we need to make a significant difference in the path an asteroid travels. The spacecraft's sole instrument, 
The Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation RATO, together with a sophisticated guidance, navigation, and control system that works in tandem with Small Body Maneuvering Autonomous Real-Time Navigation Smart Nav algorithms, enable DART to identify and distinguish between the two asteroids targeting the smaller body. These systems guided the 1,260-pound, 570-kilogram, box-shaped spacecraft through the final 56,000 miles, 90,000 kilometers, of space into Dimorphos, intentionally crashing into it at roughly 14,000 miles, 22,530 kilometers per hour to slightly slow the asteroid's orbital speed. Draco's final images, obtained by the spacecraft seconds before impact, revealed the surface of Dimorphos in close-up detail. Fifteen days before impact, DART's CubeSat companion, Light Italian CubeSat for imaging of asteroids, LICIA Cube, provided by the Italian Space Agency deployed from the spacecraft to capture images of DART's impact and of the asteroid's resulting cloud of ejected matter. In tandem with the images returned by Jureko, ELISTA AQ's images are intended to provide a view of the collision's effects to help researchers better characterize the effectiveness of kinetic impact in deflecting an asteroid. Because LICIAQ doesn't carry a large antenna, images will be downlinked to Earth one by one in the coming weeks. DART's success provides a significant addition to the essential tool box. We must have to protect Earth from a devastating impact by an asteroid, said Lindley Johnson, NASA's planetary defense officer. This demonstrates we are no longer powerless to prevent this type of natural disaster. Coupled with enhanced capabilities to accelerate finding the remaining hazardous asteroid population by our next planetary defense mission, the Near-Earth Object NEO Surveyor, a DART successor, could provide what we need to save the day. With the asteroid pair within 7 million miles, 11 million kilometers of Earth, a global team is using dozens of telescopes stationed around the world and in space to observe the asteroid system. Over the coming weeks, they will characterize the ejecta produced and precisely measure Dimorpho's orbital change to determine how effectively DART deflected the asteroid. The results will help validate and improve scientific computer models, critical to predicting the effectiveness of this technique as a reliable method for asteroid deflection. This first-of-its-kind mission required incredible preparation and precision, and the team exceeded expectations on all counts, said APL Director Ralph Simmel. Beyond the truly exciting success of the technology demonstration, capabilities based on DRT could one day be used to change the course of an asteroid to protect our planet and preserve life on Earth as we know it. Roughly four years from now, the European Space Agency's HERA project will conduct detailed surveys of both Dimorphos and Didymos, with a particular focus on the crater left by DRT's collision and a precise measurement of Dimorphos' mass. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.